My name is Valdi Shrai. I'm the Dietetic Advisor at Heart UK, the cholesterol charity. Diet plays a key role in the development of heart disease. In fact, the World Health Organization estimates that 80% of cardiovascular disease can be prevented by healthy diet and lifestyle changes. Even those people who have the inherited cholesterol, it is important that to follow the diet because the diet is a key cornerstone in terms of the management and treatment for those with familial hypercholesterolemia. Most of these individuals will need medication at some stage, but regardless of whether medication is prescribed or not, diet ought to be continued as the two complement each other. Now, there are three main groups of fats in our diets, saturated fats, polyunsaturated fats, and monounsaturated fats. Most fatty foods have a combination of these fats in them, but it's the ones which are in the majority, and that's how they're classified. The saturated fats we find mainly from foods of animal origin. That includes things like the meat, the full-fat dairy foods, the cream, the cheese, the milk, the butter. Certainly our fatty foods, for example, the pies, pasties, cakes, biscuits, convenience foods. Saturated fat has the greatest influence on cholesterol levels. In fact, the more saturated fat we eat, the more likely the cholesterol is going to go up. The second major group of fats in our diet are the polyunsaturated fats. Um, these are subdivided into two, the omega-6s and the omega-3s. The omega-6s are the vegetable oils, whether it's corn oil, sunflower oil, you name it, the, the sort of vegetable oils. Um, then we have the omega-3s, which include the oily fish mainly and the nuts. This group of fats does not raise cholesterol, so they are good as far as your cholesterol is concerned. Then we come to the third group, the monounsaturated fats, which include things like rapeseed oil, olive oil, avocado, and certain nuts would also form part of this group. And if these fats are substituted to a small amount, instead of using saturated fats, they can help lower cholesterol. A heart-healthy diet is one which is based on plenty of fruits and vegetables, a minimum of five a day, so three fruits and two veg, or three veg and two fruits, that's the minimum. The rest of the diet should be based on starchy, whole grain cereals, whether it's the bread, pasta, potatoes, rice, chapatis, pita bread. Um, and then the really heart-friendly foods include the oily fish, things like the mackerel, salmon, pilchard, sardines, etc., the oats, which play a very important role as far as cholesterol is concerned. Certainly all the peas, beans, pulses, the red kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils, they form a very good group as well. And the nuts.